Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I love, love this series. Oh, I love it so much. So back in January, I started empowering questions series on my channel, which is this deck of cards that has 52, I believe, yeah, 52 questions in it that kind of inspire a, a deep thought about um, life, about you, about all kinds of stuff. I love it so much and I don't know why I haven't picked it up in a while, I haven't done it and I miss it and I'm so excited to do it today. So as you guys know, um, here on my channel, uh, ever since March, I have gone through some major um, spiritual awakening. Um, I've really just been, been in touch with my higher self and with my authentic self. And so I'm like so excited to do these questions with you guys because I really want to give you an authentic, honest answer. And before I felt like I, I was kind of on the cusp of giving you guys those authentic, real answers, but I was still kind of in shame and was holding myself back and just not really embracing the authenticity of what these questions you know encourage you to do going through everything that i've went through i feel like i have nothing to hide nothing can bring me down no one can say anything to me that would make me upset be ashamed of myself or sad or upset or anything like that because i know who i am and so yeah just going through this whole experience uh the dark night of the soul and um you know going through depression anxiety going to therapy i feel like I have nothing to hide. I'm not scared of myself anymore. And I feel like um, it's a really good feeling to have. And I feel like answering these questions with you guys would be just awesome. Cause I'm not afraid. Ah! So basically what I'm doing is I'm shuffling the cards and whatever pops out is meant to be our question for today. We leave it up to the universe people. We let the universe decide what our topic is going to be today. And it depends how many cards fall out is up to the universe. If we're meant to answer more than one card today, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm just gonna wait whoop, until something pops out. And also just so you guys know, I will link these cards down below in the description box. I got them. I got them off of Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks or eight bucks or something like that, I can't remember. Okay, I got two cards. These two cards fell on the floor. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of the stack away. And we will focus on these two cards that popped out. <gasps> I'm nervous, I haven't done this in a while. I'm so excited to do this today, so let's see. All right, first card is who or what defines the contents of my life? Ooh. I would say, okay, so this is where I'm gonna start getting a little spiritual with y'all. Sorry, there's like dust everywhere. I'm not trying to push my beliefs or anything onto you guys, but obviously, you know, if you're watching this, then you are maybe familiar with me and familiar with where I'm coming from. Um, who or what defines the contents of my life? And that is two things. Who is me and the what is the universe. The universe and I are in cahoots. We work together. We are one. And I feel like um, I, myself, can develop whatever I want in my life if I put my mind to it and I ask the universe for assistance. You are in charge of your life and you are the person that displays everything in your life. And so I feel like, you know, the who would be you, like it would be me, it would be yourself. And the what is the universe or God or whatever you believe in. Or maybe for you, the what could be um, a family member or someone you love or maybe uh, the, the child you inside of yourself, you're doing it for yourself. So I feel like this is kind of a loaded question. I love those loaded questions. The universe is abundant, life is abundant, you are abundant. And I feel like um, whatever you and the universe or God or whoever's in your life 
um, whatever you believe in. It doesn't have to be any of those things, but whatever you believe in and whatever you feel like you drive that information from, I feel like if you guys join teams, put those powers, those efforts, those thoughts together, that energy together, you could create all kinds of amazing content in your life. Yeah, it's a good question. I like that. All right, I'm on to question number two. So don't forget this question, guys. If you guys wanna answer it down below in the comments, I want to know who and what defines the content in your life. So let me know. All right, question number two. I'm nervous, because these are some new questions. I haven't seen these before. I like this question. What are those things that make me feel good while I'm doing them? Oh, I love this question, guys. I love this question. Um, there are quite a few things in my life that I feel really good while I'm doing them. I think um, in no particular order, I'm just going to say the things that come to my head. I feel really, really good when I'm doing YouTube, obviously, number one. I love interacting with you guys, spreading light, spreading love being myself, um, connecting with you guys, um, helping you guys, like that to me is my number one driving force in creating videos and I feel really happy when I'm doing them or posting them or anything like that. Um, the second thing that makes me really happy is painting my nails. I've talked to you guys about this before. I love doing my nails. I have a whole video of me literally talking about self-love and the things that you can do to increase that self-nurture. I will link that video up there for you guys. My nails are so important to me. I love doing them. Today I have kind of like a little lavender color on. I eventually want to get really good where I can do nail art. That would be awesome. Third thing, I love painting. As you can see, I have some paintings behind here done by moi. I did them myself. If you guys ever look around in my house of any of the vlogs I have, you'll see all the paintings that I have. I have literally paintings on every single wall. Um, some of them I've done at home. Some of them I've done classes. Some of them are my boyfriend's paintings too. Okay, I'm gonna show you this painting that he did and it's my favorite painting, literally. I'm gonna take it off the wall because I wanna show you. This is my favorite painting in the house besides this one. I just hit myself in the head. Oh, I hope you guys like this painting and it was worth it. Ow. Now, you're not allowed to make fun of him, okay? Because he's very insecure about his painting. He thinks that his painting is not good, but this is my favorite, favorite, favorite painting. Like, I love it so much. Every time I see it, it inspires me. Like, I love it. Okay, here it is. This is my boyfriend's painting, you guys. It's freaking Shamu, Free Willy, Orko, whatever you want to call him. I prefer to call him Shamu because I'm a 90s baby. I was born in 95. I grew up with Shamu and SeaWorld, okay? That is Shamu to me. Um, I love the little boat, the little shadows right here, the birds, the sunset, like, oh, I freaking love it. It gives me like, those like child vibes but also like intrigues me because it's like this tiny little boat and this huge whale okay this whale is so big it looks like it's about to eat this little boat right here and the birds are watching and it's almost kind of like this boat's like oh my god oh my god oh my god the person on this boat is probably freaking out with this huge giant whale next to them do you see where i'm going with this like i could look at this painting for hours this is my favorite painting um i literally just pull it off the wall to show you guys how, how much i love it and it's not even mine <laughs> i mean i have to say i do love my sunflower i just love this one just a little bit more just a little bit more ow that really hurt i just got injured by my his art, not even my own art. Yeah, I feel like, you know, doing things you love, doing things that bring you joy, that bring you that just vibes, that positive energy is amazing. And I feel like everyone should do things that they love when they can. So I pass these two questions off to you guys. What are some things that you guys love? doing that make you happy feed your soul what are those things i know i'm not the only one who paints out there i know i'm not the only one who does youtube i know i'm not the only one that likes to paint their nails so what do you guys like to do for fun what makes your heart happy 
what are those things, let me know. Also, who or what defines the contents of your life? Your mom, your dad, you, your little brother, sister, dog, the planet, the sun, the earth, the trees, the birds, the ocean. I wanna know, what are those things for you? What brings that joy to your life? Anyways, I love these videos so much. I get to just talk and rant and get to just share good vibes with you guys. I love it so much. Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I love you. I will see you on the next one. Bye.